what is going on guys it is your boy we are back with some ninja sun content something that i have not done in a minute <laughs> look i do need to apologize to you guys because i have a lot of content on you know promoting my books and also you know talking with my friends about how they liked it and about their characters but i had a lot going on and if you guys looked at my video from yesterday you guys would know that I've launched uh, you, my website and I had a lot of help to help me get that website together and for everybody that contributed who contributed and you know helped me you know get it together and made it a success I really appreciate you and I love each and every one of you guys so with that being said um, the link for the website is in the description and it'll be on the screen as well so you guys can you know, go over and check it out. I'm not going to talk about it over here because I have a whole video specifically talking about, you know, um, my website. So you guys can go ahead and check that out as well. So what today we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about Ninja Sun, the beginning. So I'm starting off with my first book that came out on my birthday, 2021, that came out on my birthday. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about Ninja Sun, the beginning. And we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna go chapter by chapter. So what I'm gonna do in this, in this, um, I want to call it this the series, is I'm gonna talk about the characters, the the scenery, you know what, uh, how did I come up with each scenario, and you know I'm gonna explain each chapter, one, two, and three, one through four without spoiling anything, because I do not want to spoil nothing so that is the main thing so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna talk about today we're gonna talk about the planet and the characters the setting of the scene for the uh for the plot and the plot is really how should i say if you guys read the book you know the plot is one of the you know is i'm setting up for the entire series and you know i want you guys to you know Think about it in a way like instead of me, you know, giving out a backstory, you know, before I give you all of this, you at least get the backstory first. And that's the way I like it. I wish some, you know, develop, I wish some writers would do this because it makes it easier for the, you know, the readers or the watchers to understand what's going on instead of giving you a good one and then taking it back and putting you back on how it all began. <laughs> I don't like that. But sometimes it's good, but sometimes because it gives you a mystery of how all this happened. But for me, I would rather for you to know how it happened, move on, and continue on going from that, you know, from that point on. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first chapter uh, for uh, chapter one, it is called Calm Before the Storm. So in Calm Before the Storm, we get the introduction of Dion and his team, basically. We get to talk about the king, the queen, the palace, and the turmoil that is going on within the kingdom. Now, the turmoil that is going on in, you know, in, in the kingdom is that the two eldest sons, Dorian and Darius, were kidnapped. And nobody knows where they are. They have been gone for over, I mean, almost... 20 years they have been kidnapped for 20 years but Dion is 18 at this point so it's like they have been gone every for a good little minute when they got kidnapped Dion was just he was just born so technically it's been about 18 years they have been gone so they're still trying the king and queen are trying to find out where he is I mean where they are they got the you know royal guards and everybody going after them so Dion is kind of torn because he knows he doesn't know his brothers, but he never met them because he was young when they were kidnapped. So he is, you know, torn because his family, his mother and father are devoting most of their time to the search, but not really, you know, catering to what he need and his, you know, his development. They want him to take over. If they can't find his oldest brother, they want him to take over as king. 
But also, you got to remember, he's also the leader of his own team. That's, you know, the right, the, I want to call them mercenaries <laughs> to the king. Like, if you guys are familiar with Dragon Ball Z, and some of you probably are, the Ninja Warriors are the Ginyu Force to Frieza. So, the Ninja Warriors are like the Ginyu Force to the king. With more, you know, with almost uh, 20 members. Where the Ginyu Force only had like five. And that is why. But see, the the reason why the Ninja Warriors have so many more members is because they each are after the Zodiac or either the Constellations. And, you know, their powers are more diverse. So they use those, you know, they use their powers to basically help or support, you know, each other. To what the Ginyu Force was basically about all the, you know, one, uh, all for one and none for all, basically something like that. <laughs> so my, so the whole thing is, Dion is trying to come into his own, trying to, you know, figure out how he can do, you know, how he can, I want to say, and I know y'all, you're supposed to say, Kenny, you're supposed to know this. I do. I'm trying to figure out a way to say it. He's trying to figure himself out, is how I want to say it. He was trying to figure himself out. He wants to, he wants everybody to understand who he is. He wants to show everybody that he's that team player. He's the leader. And, you know, he's not this whiny kid that everybody basically think he is. So, he has to prove himself. Nobody really likes him that's on his team. And that's not to say the uh, you know the main members of the team. The only one main member of the team that does not like him is Sagittarius. And y'all already know if y'all watched me and my friend Ashley when we talked about it, y'all know the relationship between Ninja Sun and Sagittarius. Y'all know how that begins. <laughs> y'all know. But said uh, so Ninja Sun. It was well, excuse me. Dion is. Got all of this responsibility on his shoulders. He's got to become king. He's got to become the royal guard captain. And also the ninja uh, ninja son, the leader of the ninja warriors. So he's got all this on his shoulders. Not knowing, you know, if the team is going to respect him or not. So he's like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? You know, it is so... Uh, I want to say... Dion is really in a conundrum right now. Once he gets into this conundrum, he he has to try to fight himself, you know, fight his way out of it. Now, I'm going to give y'all a little bit more about the character in just a second, but I need to set up the planet. Now, the planet is called Trayant. It's light years away from Earth. Now, Trayant has already developed itself to be a is not an industrial type planet, but it's more so of a replica of Earth, but more earthy kind of like. You know, there. I mean, you have buildings. It's not nowhere uh, primitive. Is is advanced, but not real primitive. It, but the scenery of it, when you look, well, not the way I described it, you would think it's primitive because you um, hear about like earthy, you know, you got uh, lots of fields and stuff, but it's not really, you know, um, it's not uh, primitive. It's not like, you know, if you go down one, you know, you go like, let's just say Scotland. Scotland has so many fields and, you know, the UK has a whole lot of fields and, you know, um, I don't want to say dunes. They have more fields and it's all earthy out there. So you don't see a lot of buildings and everything, you know, from probably miles. That's how Trayan kind of is where the, where the royal palace sits. And, but the palace is made of diamond. The, it is a shimmering diamond uh, type material and the diamond is you know it, i mean it is so bright when you walk through it you literally are walking on glass the walls are shimmering the i mean they're like bright i mean if the people wasn't so used to it they would have to wear sunglasses that's how bright the palace is so there so that's what i want to try to describe to you guys 
Now, the plot is the ninjas have um, the planet is in at its final days. The ninja warriors have to try to get themselves together before the imminent force comes. This imminent force has so much power that it could destroy this whole planet. They have to master their powers in order to, you know, keep their planet from being destroyed. So that's the plot for chapter one, uh, for this whole book. For uh, Ninja Sun, the beginning, that is the plot. The Ninja Warriors comes into their own and they have to, they have to make sure that they can do what, you know, do what needs to be done before their whole, you know, lives are, you know, taken out. So that's what this is about. So I'm not so I'm not gonna go into a whole lengthy video on it because I got four episodes to do about this. So chapter one is based uh, is to set up calm before the storm is where Ninja Sun he has to talk about no not talk about that's me talking. <laughs> Ninja Sun has to come to grips with his team make and you know great gain their respect. And also, this is where Dion's relationship with Paolo kind of begins. Because Paolo does not, you know, Dion is in gay. But as you go on, you will see things that goes on in the chapter that will make him break down. I'm trying to do this without any spoilers because I want y'all to read the book. Dion goes through so many parallels in chapter one that makes him, you know, end up doing something that later on, I don't think he regret. However, but this is, you know, but this could, you know, hinder everything. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, but you guys got to go read it. Make sure y'all go read it. The book is on Amazon. Link is in the description to my uh, to my Amazon where you guys can purchase the book. I can't go into too more detail because it is too juicy. You guys got to go read it. Also, check out it on my website. You guys can go on the website. I have um, a reading over there. So you guys, well, the reading is over here too. Go over there, check it out. And I'm telling y'all, y'all would not, you know, be disappointed. The website is KeenyLowsNinjaSun.com. Make sure you guys, you know, click the link in the description to go to it. Also, make sure you guys come back because I got more to tell y'all about Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is really going to, you know, I, I'm trying to do this without spoilers. Because I can see here and spoil it for y'all, but I'm not going to. Alright guys, I love you all. Y'all be safe. And I'll see you guys later.